How many people are planning on going to college? Let me get a hand. Well, I know I want She's to be an engineer. Right now, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but being here at Michelle Clark, I think that technology will be a thing that I get interested in. When I was growing up, you know, science was just a topic, math was just a topic. And this is now really when you think about STEM education, which is science, technology, engineering, math. It's really a philosophy and it's an approach. Science, technology, and engineering and math is not just a political thing. It is really the heartbeat of our country because it deals with two very important issues that we deal with every day. Innovation, innovation is critical, and the competitiveness of the United States. In the hallways and in these rooms is one of your future workers. Somebody who's ready, prepared, and you educate him, you gave him the training, you gave him the curriculum, and you gave him the access, and most importantly, you gave them your personal time in a way that is essential for their future. So today we're going to do two experiments to answer this question. How do distractions affect your reaction time? You're scared. Okay. You're ready. You're ready. Green. 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 This school, Sarah Good and the other four, are now on the cover of Time Magazine as the future of where education has to go. And the city of Chicago is with these five STEM schools these new models of high school education that we just created two years ago is blazing a path that others now are taking notice of around the country and how Chicago is making real changes in education to give our kids an education that will serve them for the rest of their lives in a period in time in which you earn what you learn and the exposure to dream big dreams.